I'm excited to talk to you today about three simple ways to increase your confidence as a leader right now. Number one, act on your ideas immediately. What do I mean by that? Well, once we've determined that this idea will move us in the direction of our goals, well, that's the time to act right then and there. Otherwise, the law of diminishing intent sets in, which says that every subsequent moment that I don't take action, I'm less and less likely to do it. So what's the takeaway? Well, act while the idea is hot and the emotions are strong. That's the time to act, to apply discipline when the emotions are high before the feeling passes. Why? So we can take that idea backed by our emotions and translate that into equity. Now, part of this is just having the courage to take the first step without knowing all the others. You know, it's kind of like driving at night with your high beams on, right? You can't see the whole road. You can only see what's right in front of you. But you still go knowing that once you take that first step, your next step will be revealed. Number two, apply a new discipline. Sounds pretty simple, right? Well, it is. You see, as you know, we all have a standard, right? Each of us. And our results are a direct reflection of that standard. And our standard is comprised of our habits, our behavior patterns, our default mechanisms. What do I mean by that? Well, when things happen in life and outside circumstances unfold, how we respond to the outside events, outside environment is determined by what we've built on the inside, right? Our values, our character, our desire to learn and grow. So anytime we can add just one new discipline, we build upon what already exists. However minor the discipline, the least action, the smallest action, take it. Because once we start accomplishing and the value starts to return from that one action, that one discipline, it'll inspire you to do the next one, to do the next one, and the next one. You'll be inspired to get up early. You get up early, it'll inspire you to exercise. You exercise, it'll inspire you to eat better. You eat better, you feel better. You feel better, you'll be inspired to apply another discipline. So because of that one new discipline, you've created momentum, you've increased your standard, and as a result, your confidence as well. Number three, put everything you've got into everything you do. I know it sounds pretty self-explanatory because it is. This is an easy one. Doesn't matter what it is, give it your best effort. Because if we don't, and we let our foot off the gas in one thing, we're more likely to do it in another area of our life. And then we start to lose momentum. We start to lose confidence, right? The opposite effect. But if we put our best foot forward in all we do, we begin to weave the tapestry of a stronger confidence, an improved self-image, and a greater sense of self-value. So instead of giving some excuse in a month, a year, five years from now, I'm excited about celebrating our progress. Thanks for joining me today. We'll see you next time.